course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. Most exciting thing ever happens here is the day when it don't rain. Excuse me, darling. I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. has been named Attila, after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. Five, four, ignition. up and away. This is not a mission the shuttle was designed for, but as Mission Commander Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night, If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Ludger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission, she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright, I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance, and we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. Robin's here. 
Going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Brink here, going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Hello everybody, welcome to my brand new Let's Play. This Let's Play is at the Dig, made in 1995 uh, by LucasArts Entertainment. Uh, the Dig was a concept made by Steven Spielberg and production of this game started in 1989. Though it took six years to finally get released because of ch the changes in design. It went through three different teams and nearly went to vaporware and then finally got released in 95. Looking a little dated but still pretty good. Uh, this game is actually a little bit different from other... Um, LucasArts adventure games where it had a little bit less humor, it's a little bit more serious. It still has some little chuckle parts, but it's not nearly as much as even their Indiana Jones games had. Uh, this is one of the last games that has scum. I think this and Full Throttle were the, uh, really some of the last games that used the scum engine, which was one of the first point and click adventure games instead of using parser based, where you type down what to get or anything like that. You actually had a button to correspond with the particular verb. Uh, that's a little another noticeable thing is the man you play, Boston Lowe, which is right here. He is um, he is voiced by Robert Patrick, who's famous for playing T-1000 in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Luca Brink here, uh, the German man, is voiced by Steve Blum. Which a lot of people know of as being the king, is, uh, people call him the king of anime. He voiced a lot of main characters in a lot of animes, including the lead character in Cowboy Bebop, I believe. This is his first video game appearance, and now he's in video games all over. Uh, like, one of his most recent ones was uh, playing the voice of Grunt in uh, both Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. One place Maggie Robbins, um, I'm not exactly sure of her name, I forgot about it, but she's a also notable voice actor. One of her most recent um, performances was um, that I remember hearing her in was the Mass Effect. So this has a little interesting stuff. You talk to people, you have a like choices conversation, and your look tools here in the inventory. It's just a mark is there and it highlights if you, you can say something. Like, this is my pen ultimate personal digital assistant. It's like a little smartphone early. It's the arm and key for the explosives. Standard issue flashlight. Let's see. It's my pen ultimate. Come on. It's my personal digital assistant. Looking for something here. It's my pen ultimate. Come on. It's my pen ultimate. It's my personal digital assistant. It's the T-1000 model. Ah, there it is. <laughs> the T-1000 model uh, paying homage to um, uh, Terminator 2. Gonna, yeah, it's in just here, like tool chest. It's a free fall NASA tool chest containing this mission's equipment. It's affectionately known as the Flying Pig. I don't know why they call it that. Maybe it's because of its shape or something. The main objective of our mission. Yeah, I tried looking at them and he just goes, hmm. Like it doesn't know what they are. Let's talk with Robbins first. Robbins. Come in, Robbins. Robbins here. I read you. And you have certain options to change. And as, excuse me, as things uh, progress, uh, you get more questions to ask and you could eventually move over and stuff. And when everything is like... Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, when things are um, done, they kind of get a weird blue tint on them. Getting anything juicy for your 
first article? I'm not writing my article right now, Commander Lowe. This is all pretty dull so far, Robbins. I hope you can find something interesting for your lead. Commander Lowe, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm just trying to be friendly. And I'm trying to be a good crew member. Can't you forget for even one second that I'm a reporter? Honestly, for somebody being famous, it's hard to forget that they're like that for a few seconds. You keep wanting to ask them questions about the profession. I want to make sure you're having a wonderful time, Robbins. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. You see, it has a highlight there. That means I exhausted all questions right now. Just go back to the last one. Have you looked up at the Earth yet, Robbins? Oh, is that big blue thing the Earth? Some people get vertigo when they realize that they're hanging upside down 200 miles over the ocean. Do some of them throw up? Is that what you want me to do? I thought it was something you might want to write about. I actually had a pretty good career as a writer before I had you to think of ideas for me, Commander. I don't think I will get vertigo being upside down 200 miles above the ocean. I think I'll be staring at it in awe. I would love to go into space someday. I'm an amateur astronomer myself. I'm always checking out the latest news and stuff about there, and I love stargazing, so this would be a dream of mine just to go up into space. I just want you to be happy, Robbins. So you'll write nice things about us. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. I hope you're still happy, Robbins. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. Brink. What do you think of our archaeologist, Brink? I'm very impressed with his experience. He headed the U.S. Geological Survey team that mapped the surface of Venus. He'll be taking a close look at the asteroid to make certain the detonation points they've chosen are suitable. Yeah, we have mapped the surface of Gina, uh, Venus using geologists and stuff on there. Um, because, of course, we cannot see the surface too well because of the clouds and we can't land there. The, the the probes that have landed on Venus melted and got crushed under the pressure because it's three times the pressure of the Earth. And the surface temperature is about 450 degrees Celsius, which is about, uh, roughly around 900 degrees Fahrenheit here. So you can't really go on the surface. So they've been used, they used radials and stuff and to map the surface of Venus. And it's very volcanic, sulfuric all over the place there. See that big tool chest? We call it the pig. I've logged a hundred hours working with every tool in the pig, Commander Lowe. Everything okay with the pig? As far as I can see, Commander. Let's see. Okay, that's it for her. Low out. Let's talk with Brink. Brink, this is Lowe. Do you read? Brink here. I read you. Are you getting a good look at the asteroid, Brink? I have hardly looked at anything else, Commander. Have you noticed anything unusual? No one has ever been this close to an asteroid before, Commander. I cannot possibly know what is usual or unusual. Is there anything that should make us reconsider the placement of the charges? The original choice of quadrant seems adequate, Commander. Do you see any problems, Rick? As you Americans might say, Commander, we will kick Attilia's butt. <laughs> nice vote of confidence there. Happy to set foot on a new world, Brink? Attila is a very old world, Commander. It is merely new to us. Oh, by the way, this Attila is not to be confused with a real asteroid out there named Attila, but it also has some numerals in front of it. But this one is just called Attila, but there's another one out there, but it's not the same asteroid. Let me know if you see anything unusual with the asteroid. No problems yet, Commander. What do you think of our star reporter? Very unorthodox, bringing a reporter on a space mission. But she is very capable, and she writes interesting stories. He didn't sound really happy about saying that. <laughs> Everything okay with the pig? Everything's fine as far as I can see, Commander. Miles can tell you more than I can. Alright. Low out. Let's go to look at the penultimate. 
there's actually a game in here called Astrid Lander. Um, I might show a video of that being played, um, but I can't do it. I'm using Hypercam for this, and every time it does that, uh, I record that, it really glitches up big time. You can actually see it, and everything works fine, but it's just glitchy. There's flashing and everything. But here's a com. If I just choose on Maggie or Brink there, it'll just open. Uh, have them talking on the outside there. But let's talk with Borden. Load aboard. Do you copy? Like carbon paper, boss. Are we in position, Ken? Attila's given us less gravity than I expected, but the attitude jets are compensating. You're saying Attila is less massive than we expected. Hey, maybe Attila's nothing but a big old bubble. How do we know what's inside an asteroid? True. Let me know if you notice something that would change our mission parameters. Sure thing, boss. Right now, Attila's sleeping like a baby. You ready for us to park company, Ken? Everything's in position, boss. Okay. Any problem with us taking the pig now, Ken? Just tell Miles and you can take the little squealer to market. <laughs> this is one big ugly pig. Is that why Cora always calls it her baby? I heard that, Ken. <laughs> Low out. Let's talk with her. Load a payload, over. Yeah, 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 Boston, I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> How's the congressional campaign going without you? Well, my opponent is demanding equal time in space. With or without a suit. Just don't screw up the mission, Boston, and I'll be in Congress next January. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Till my opponent offers you more money. Now this will go on a bit. There's a lot of lines here, so I'm just going to be going through them all. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Only if you move to Mississippi, Boston. I just want you to know, you've got my vote. Maybe if somebody helps you figure out the levers in the voting booth. They don't use levers in voting booths anymore. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. Oh, you finally learned how to make an X. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. Oh, I've already got the aging astronaut vote locked up. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. And I haven't even paid you your dollar yet. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. Just don't tell anyone else, Boston. It might cost me the election. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. It's no use, Boston. I'm not gonna make you head of NASA. Huh. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. You can vote for me 20 times, Boston, and I still won't marry you. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. I bet you say that to all the candidates. <sighs> I just want you to know you've got <sighs> my vote, Cora. Does this mean you've forgiven me for putting a leak in your catheter on your first launch? Okay. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. Well, ain't you sweet? Uh, yeah, the cat leak in the catheter, that's a pretty dangerous prank. <laughs> Ready when you are, Cora. Just give the word, Boston, and you got yourself a pig. Mm -hmm. Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed. I think I'll end this let's play here. 
Let me save it. Hope it turns out good because I've been having troubles with Hypercam. Yes. Okay. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.